<laughs> What's happening, folks? Cheryl here, aka J from Ninety, coming at you with another, coming at you with a different type of video. You see, I've been asked for years how I get my hair so big and round and thick and fantastically perfect looking. And so I figured instead of telling everybody, which I tell them all the time, why don't I show you? Why don't I show you my process and, you know, go straight from as soon as I do a good deep clean and shampoo and condition. So you see that I first start off with, like I said, my hair being shampooed and conditioned and then my scalp properly hydrated. The hair is nice. The hair is nice and full of moisture. You see the natural kinks in there. Well, we blow dry them kinks right on now. You fry that hair up. Blow dry. That's right. Blow dry it out. And then once your hair is blow dried out, I mean all them kinks out. Then you do a nice little messy, ugly looking braid up. Because I hate braiding my own hair. And so I don't do a good job. My parts are all a mess and my braids reek of I want to be done braiding. So you braid up the whole head until you can't braid anymore. See that all done. The braids are all finished. And then the next part is crucial. You put those braids in a good old fashioned netted wig cap. Make sure they're down nice and flat. Pull up your edges a little bit from that cap and then you pull out the wig that you made by hand using four packs of human hair. Four packs is for that thickness, that signature JFRO90 thickness. The wig also consists of four combs that you sewed on that you sewed on yourself. And it's not a lace front. I'm not too big on the lace fronts. Uh, I, I you know don't mind them but I prefer the old-fashioned wigs, the, the wigs of the Whitney Houston and Regine Hunter days. And you secure that on, make sure you have a nice little amount of leave out and edges to cover up in case you get a heavy wind or you want to do a nice little swoop with your hand there. And yeah, that's basically the secret to this. You keep that hair good and greased underneath there so that it's thriving and being its best self to the point where when you do take it off, it's like, oh, you don't need a wig. I love hearing that. But the thing is, I don't like doing my natural hairs. So yeah, no, this is the better fit. Know why it's the better fit? Because I can also put this on a mannequin head and comb the whole thing around, which I do. So hope you all enjoyed this. Hope you all learned something from this. Next video, I'm going to show you guys how to make one of these puppies. All you'll need is a classic wig cap and four buttons bundles of human hair. It don't have to be human, but if it's going on me and it's going to be a loose, it better be human. So that's that. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know in the comments below more questions about the hair process, the wig process, all of that. Excited to get my techniques, my tips and tricks. So ask away. Feel free also to share this on social media. Please feel free to follow me on social media. That's in the description below. If you like to tip, donate, or sponsor me to be able to buy and make new wigs because one can never have too many of these, especially when I like to change it up every single day of the week. So, so it is absolutely thing. But also you can join my Patreon, become a patron on the Patreon in the description below. On Patreon, you're gonna get early access to videos like these and Patreon only videos like these. And then just lastly, thank you to each and every one of you for pushing play on this video. I definitely appreciate it. And then lastly, please take care of yourselves and each other. Saying that I want it.